Alright guys, today I want to discuss what I consider to be a pretty serious topic in the Salesforce space, specifically for beginners or freshers coming into the Salesforce space, and that is certifications. And there's been a lot of talk going around about how many certifications you need to stand out or break into these Salesforce careers. And a lot of people think that Salesforce certifications are the only way to stand out or that they're the best way to stand out. And I've been hearing numbers like three, four, five certifications to land a job, but I don't see any evidence that you need even two certifications, much less three, four, or five. And I always like to base the information that I share with you on facts and evidence, uh, because otherwise things can sound really logical. And you can say things like, if you have five certifications, you're gonna stand out in the space and chances are you're gonna get a job. And that may be true, and it sounds very logical because that puts you above other people from a certification perspective, more than likely. But is it actually true? Is there any evidence that that actually works? And even if it does work, is it long-term or do you get into some of these positions that you're underqualified for? Uh, you look overqualified, but you're underqualified because you have very little experience. And then you end up in a job that is completely taxing and causes you so much anxiety because you don't know what you're doing and the expectations are so high and you end up failing or quitting or getting burnt out or getting a bad you know, recommendation or whatever you want to call it, where you can't even have a reference letter from your first employer because you did such a poor job. And now you're living with stress, anxiety, imposter syndrome, and this is all because you only prepared yourself by doing Salesforce certifications and you didn't spend any time on other skills or other things you could be doing to advance your Salesforce career and actually become a more holistic Salesforce professional instead of just a certification hoarder. Now, certifications are great. And I say that you absolutely need one certification to get your first Salesforce job. And now you're probably thinking, well, one certification, doesn't everybody have one certification? And don't those people not have jobs? And the truth is, yeah, there are more people with one certification who are not employed than there are people with one certification that are employed. That's probably true. Um, but I can tell you, getting a second certification and a third certification and a fourth and a fifth certification are not the answer. And a lot of times we can tell ourselves, hey, let me go get a second certification because that'll probably help. But the only reason you're really going that direction is because it's comfortable. You know that you can go get a study guide and you can go to Trailhead and you can go to YouTube and watch some videos of people or you can read a blog article and, and then you can go maybe get some practice exams and see how you're doing and then you can go take the test. And it's a very straightforward path. I just explained it in probably 12 seconds. So it's a very comfortable path. Now, when Brad comes along and says, hey guys, I think you should focus your energy on something other than certifications. You're probably thinking, well, what am I supposed to focus on? So before we hop into that, I just wanna explain that we have people in our career development program every single week landing jobs with zero certifications and one certification. Now zero is unlikely, okay? That typically means your branding was so on point that somebody took a chance with you and you interviewed so well that they went with you. And we'll talk about that in a little bit and how we can get those interviews and branding on point. Now, most of our members land jobs with one certification and that's all you really need. You need that certification to prove yourself and you're good to go. Now. We have a lot of people who join our program and they already have two or three certifications and they still can't find jobs. And that's not a surprise to me because if you think that getting certifications is what gets you a job, it's not. It might help you stand out, but if you get on an interview and they say, tell me about your real world experience and you go, well, I don't have any, but I have three certifications, you still have a massive gap and they know that. So you're not fooling anyone with three certifications. Now, of course, you can go into these interviews and you can lie and you can be unethical and you can be immoral and you can say that you have experience and you can just lie about it and try to get by with it and you might get the job. And I think those are the people, a lot of times that we see with three or five certifications getting jobs, they're smart enough to know they've been through two or three interviews that ask if they had real world experience and they said, no, they don't and they didn't get the job. So they just started lying about having experience because it makes sense logically, again, an employer would think if you have five certifications 
you probably have experience. So if you tell them you do, they're probably going to believe you. And yeah, you can absolutely 100% unethically get into Salesforce roles, burn yourself out, give yourself anxiety, be an imposter, and basically go into a job that you're not prepared for. And if that's the route you wanna go, then that's perfectly fine. There's no judgment here. It's just, that's not the route that I would advise people to go. Now, if you want to go a more fundamental route and actually have experience and actually be a qualified Salesforce professional so that you can just go into interviews, tell your stories, be honest, brand yourself on your portfolios and things like that, and actually get interviews and land jobs uh, because you are a qualified and really a fundamentally uh, you know, well-rounded Salesforce professional coming in, then this is what I would recommend you doing. Your LinkedIn branding and your portfolio need to be on point. Why is this? Because that's how you're gonna attract the attention of hiring managers and recruiters. What you do is you get your LinkedIn profile looking amazing. We have tons of video on this YouTube channel about that, about your background photo doesn't just need to be a cool photo that you found on Google Images. It needs to tell your story. It needs to talk about who you are. This is a huge image that you get to use as a banner on your profile to showcase who you are. Your profile picture, most people know this, it needs to be a nice shot. It needs to be crisp. It needs to be high quality. It doesn't need to be you and your friends or like you at the bar or whatever else. It needs to be a nice professional image. Now getting into your title and about section, these are huge for search engine optimization on LinkedIn. And knowing how to put a proper title and a proper about section are going to have a huge impact on how many people are connecting with you, reaching out to you, trying to recruit you. And as soon as you're certified, all you have to do is put in that title, Salesforce Certified Professional, Salesforce Certified Administrator, and put that again in your about section and then talk about yourself and tell people why you're passionate about Salesforce. It's going to make a huge difference. Now, getting into your experience, this is where people are gapped. Even people with three to five certifications, they have no experience. And I've worked with members who come into our program and I look at their LinkedIn profiles and I go, whoa, you've got a year of experience. You should, why do you need our program? You, you should probably be able to advance in the Salesforce you know, ecosystem with this. And then we get into some deeper conversation and they usually tell me, hey, between me and you, uh, I was advised to lie on my resume. And this is the advice going around, guys. Like, if you think that doesn't happen, you are living under a rock. It happens all the time. So these people who are going out there and getting three, four, five certifications and still have no experience, chances are it looks like they have experience if you look at their resume and due to poor interview practice, uh, companies are hiring these individuals, um, potentially, and they're likely frustrated with these individuals and firing these individuals soon after. Um, so let's do this the right way. So we've got our LinkedIn on point. You can watch some other videos on the channel about how to uh, you know, get your LinkedIn profile looking amazing. And we have to do interview prep as well. If you think you're just gonna walk into an interview and talk about things that you saw in a practice exam or trailhead or whatever else, not gonna happen. You're going to get interviewed. You're gonna need to understand interview strategy, things like deflecting questions uh, that you're not comfortable with, uh, guiding the conversation so that it always stays on your strengths, uh, be prepared to demo an actual uh, developer org uh, for work that you've been working on. This can help you take control of the interview and focus on topics that you want to focus on. There's a lot of tips like that uh, that are out there where if you think just a little bit differently, don't think of the interview as something that the interviewer is controlling. Take control of the interview. That doesn't mean you have to be this big voice and like over, you know, commanding the conversation. You strategically come in with a very soft approach and you control the interview. Uh, and we have to be aware of how to do that. Now, the other thing is getting real world experience. And typically you're gonna do this through volunteer experience, whether that be volunteermatch.org uh, or other companies that offer volunteer opportunities. And of course, if you go through the career development program uh, and you'll find a link in the description below, uh, we guarantee you volunteer experience and we do interview prep for you and we do LinkedIn branding for you and we connect all of these dots. We help you get that first certification. We can help you get a second one if you're interested. Uh, and we just move through this process of actually preparing you in a very uh, comprehensive way to be a Salesforce professional instead of you going out here and spending, you know, possibly even years getting certifications because I think that's another thing that comes into play here is that when you're told to go get three, four, five certifications, 
some people are good at going and taking the test and getting certs and they know where to study and they know to, where to find the questions and they know how to sort of take the test and make that 65 score to pass. So they go fail the test and, and still get a certification. And it, meaning that they get a 65, which in my opinion is a failing grade and they, they still get the certification. And they only know 65% of the content. So they're actually not that good at what the certification says they're good at. And what happens is some people struggle to take these exams and it can take them six months to get one certification. So five certifications could take them over a year, maybe even more than two years. And so when you tell somebody they need five certifications to get a job, for a lot of people, that's gonna take their career and make them U-turn and walk away and go do something different because they don't feel like two and a half years is what they've been sold. They've been sold that Salesforce is a low barrier to entry. Salesforce has tons of job openings, but not nearly enough talent to fill those roles. And then you tell them they've got to study and practice for two and a half years in order to be ready for a Salesforce role. And that's just not the way it is. You can be prepared for Salesforce roles in as little as 90 days, having no idea what Salesforce is. Uh, and it might take you as long as six months following you know, the right tactics, but it should not be taking you a year. It should not be taking you nine months, two years, five certifications, whatever it is. There's a faster approach. There's a more efficient approach. There's a more holistic and comprehensive approach to actually being a qualified Salesforce professional and not just certification hoarding. So for all the beginners out there, I strongly advise uh, that you follow a more wholesome approach to being a professional as opposed to just going and taking a bunch of tests and really putting yourself on a pedestal where you're gonna get knocked down really quickly and you're going to mentally feel lacking and like you're an imposter because really you sort of are an imposter if you have five certifications, uh, no experience at all, and your employers are thinking you're some kind of Salesforce hotshot when you're just able to pass multiple choice tests. Um, so that's just my opinion. Please leave your comments below. Um, I would love to hear your feedback, uh, but I strongly advise that you know, if you struggle with certifications, especially there is a better route, there is a more efficient route, and we just have to be thoughtful about the direction we take.